a huge blast in the center of Ukraine's second largest city. Look at the destruction in Kharkiv, which is about the size of Philadelphia. This guy was shooting a selfie video when a missile struck. Rubble rains down, but miraculously he survived. One civilian posted a video diary as she walked through the rubble. Russia bombarded yesterday and in the night and this morning the historical center of Kharkiv. This is the downtown. Show this to those in Russia. But with all the carnage, could Russia's invasion be crumbling from within? At least 300 soldiers are said to have surrendered. Others are refusing to fight. Videos of demoralized Russian POWs are posted on a Ukrainian website. This is said to be a young Russian prisoner being given a sandwich and tea by Ukrainian civilians before calling home. What can you tell us about the morale of the Russian soldiers? They have been really hammered by uh, the Ukrainians. For these young Russian soldiers, these conscripts, who've been sent to a place that they didn't know they were going into combat, is just... I just can't imagine what their mental state must be in. The brave citizens of Ukraine continue to confront the invaders. This is the shocking aftermath of a battle in a Kyiv suburb. And look, sanitation trucks, burned out cars, sandbags, old tires, and a mass of humanity are blocking the Russian advance at one of the largest nuclear power plants in Europe. A Russian officer was seen holding grenades in each hand as he leads a delegation demanding the surrender of a Ukrainian town. And a Ukrainian government spokesman claims an elite force of Russian mercenaries sent to assassinate President Zelensky has been eliminated.